All right, hi everyone. It's Harrison here, and today we're gonna to be talking about one of my favorite topics, public restrooms, and which ones to use when you're pre-transitioned. I hate public bathrooms. They are the bane of my existence. But I'm not just gonna stay in my apartment all day because I'm scared of them. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna live my life, and at some point of the day, I'm going to have to relieve myself. Just just being a human. As a pre-transition trans man, it's very difficult for me to navigate which one to use. Now, as a disclaimer, I don't just use one bathroom. I don't just use the men's bathroom. It all depends on my social situation and who I'm with. I play on a women's hockey team and the majority of my friends are girls. So whenever I'm out, maybe at a restaurant, hanging out with friends, girls tend to have this thing where if one person's like, oh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, everybody has to go with them. I don't know how this originated or where it came from, but it's a real thing and I deal with it all the time. <laughs> so if I'm out with friends um, that are girls, I'll go into the women's bathroom with them because I'm with my friends, I feel safe, I feel comfortable and I wanna hang out. So I'll go in, um, but I do tend to get weird looks every time I use the women's bathroom, which will make me feel like I've kind of grown out of it now. Um, I, I've been using the women's bathroom for the past like 23 years. Uh, I only started kind of dabbling in the men's bathroom like in the past year or two. So sometimes it's out of habit. Sometimes I'll do it by accident. And every time I do, something weird happens. Especially with like older women and kids, uh, they really don't know how to deal with me or like they can't figure it out. It's like they look at me and they're brain explodes. And I've had a lot of situations where I'm walking into the bathroom and I'm crossing paths with somebody and they'll look at the sign, look back at me, look at the sign, look back at me. And then they'll start narrating their life and be like, mm, I'm going into the women's bathroom. I know, you don't have to be passive aggressive in telling me not to be in there. I've been using the women's bathroom less and less, um, but that still doesn't mean that I feel completely comfortable going into the men's bathroom. When I was just wearing a t-shirt, like in the summer, it was hard for me uh, because I didn't have anything to cover up my chest. I haven't had top surgery or anything, so I still have a chest. I don't wear a binder, so I do still have a chest. Um, so I'll find myself like hunching over if I have to like say anything to anybody, which I try not to, I'll be like, I'll lower my voice a bit um, and I just won't make eye contact like I'll just go in do my business get out But I find that going into the men's bathroom people don't look at me at all I've never had an awkward situation once people are just going in there You're not sizing each other up. You're just going in to pee But in the women's bathroom I find that people look at each other more again I don't know why but that tends to happen. So that's what I do, so it all depends on my social situation, but I think I'm gonna start just using the men's bathroom mainly because I'm passing enough where people, like although I'm sure if they found out that I was 24, they would probably be like, ooh, what the heck, but I find that people think that I'm like a 15 year old boy or a 14 year old boy, and that's fine. I like being gendered as a man. I'm not seen exactly how I want to be seen in society yet, but I feel that I pass more as a guy than I do as a girl, which is a thumbs up, but it makes washrooms very awkward. But overall, I will try to look for a single bathroom. If there's a family bathroom, you know I'm going in there. And then I'll look for single stalls. Obviously those are my safe space. Uh, so my tips for you going out in public is just kind of find places where you're gonna find a uh, single stall bathroom. Yeah, for the most part, like fast food places or like a Starbucks or something, they'll have a single stall. And then I find that malls and places like that, they do always usually have a family restroom to use. Sometimes you're just gonna have to use the, the big bathrooms, the main bathrooms, which they suck, I know, but you're in there for maybe two minutes and then you're out. Just go in there, suck it up and be safe. And just a tip, like if you feel more comfortable using the, using the bathroom of your birth sex, then go for it. It doesn't make you any less trans. Sometimes I do it out of safety. Sometimes I do it out of comfort. And that doesn't mean that I am any less of a trans man. But overall guys, just stay safe. I know how much it sucks, but it's part of your day. And hopefully one day, there will be gender neutral bathrooms and unisex bathrooms everywhere and it'll be regulated. But until then, pee safe. <laughs> and I hope that, I hope that everyone makes the best out of it. Um, but yeah, I get it, I'm with you. We'll get through this together. So that's 
So I, don't, I really just wanna do a quick little rant on that and talk about how I go to the bathroom. <laughs> um, but before I sign off, I wanted to, to quickly talk about this shirt that I'm wearing. So this is um, called Love is Love is Love is Love is Love. Um, and it's from the Get Real Movement and it's their partnership with Point of Pride. And I just wanted to talk about how much I love this shirt. It has such a great message. It is actually one of the softest shirts I've ever had on. It's so comfortable and it looks great. It's it's not just one of those crappy t-shirts that have a print on it. Like it's, it's like a legitimate brand, a legitimate t-shirt with really great quality. So if you guys love this shirt and you love the message, I'm going to help you guys out and give you all a discount. So I'm gonna link this t-shirt below and I'm gonna show my discount. So it's Harrison 15. Use that at checkout and you can save a little bit of money and also get a bomb t-shirt. Shout out to the Get Real Movement for hooking me up. I love it, I love your products and I wish you all the best. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions, you want any more advice videos, uh, let me know, shoot me a message on Tumblr or any of my social medias, I will link that below. But yeah, anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you use the bathroom. Yikes. Anyways, thanks again. Take care.